You know, you have athletes that, you know, they push, push, and push their whole life, and then eventually they get to where they've accomplished enough or they're satisfied. But, you know, this is kind of the, you know, 1% of the 1%, the guys that are, you know, they're not just satisfied with, you know, in Tommy's case, you know, being a, a two-time national champ, a four-time All-American. I mean, think of how many wrestlers, you know, 99.9% .9 of wrestlers that have ever stepped on the mat would be satisfied with, uh, you know, a resume like that, or even half that resume. But then to think, you know what, they want to go one step further, they want to say, you know, not I'm the best in Ohio, or, you know, one year I was, you know, top six in the country. They want to say I'm the best in the world. And that's, um, it's, you know, it's on such a grand scope of things. I mean, I, I, under, I understand it, but at the same time, you know, it's far bigger than anything I've ever aspired to, and I think that most people um, have ever aspired to. So, but I think that's part of why the Olympics kind of captures, you know, the uh, interest and the imagination of everyone, you know, every four years, because, uh, I think on some levels you have to, no matter what sport it is, I don't care whether it's uh, you know croquet or like some of the sports you see on there, you're like, I've never even seen this sport before, but just to think that someone's trying to be the best in the world at anything, you know, it's really admirable. <laughs> when you really sit and think of what drives you every day and, and why you want to be successful and probably I probably think about it when I'm getting ready and preparing and I'm sitting back in the warm-up area and thinking everything I put my family through and everything my daughter's about to watch and my sons are about to hear about and know about and learn about in the future. Yeah, I mean, that motivates me more than anything. It motivates me more than beating this person or that person. I mean, it's, 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 it's the underlying theme of all of this. Regional Olympic Training Center is the concept. The guys live and train together. Great wrestlers make other wrestlers great. Being in the environment where people are driven makes other people learn what it is to drive, to, to push themselves, to embark on a journey that may not be easy. You gotta be influenced by somebody else, right? The key when you first start is to be inspired. But you're going to realize later in your life that you maybe do more for other people when you inspire them. Because people aren't inspired by themselves. Somebody else has got to kindle that flame. And a regional Olympic training center brings these people who are driven in one environment where somebody else can see and just being a part of that may ignite that drive in somebody. Bergman. I think that you have to be, I mean there's a lot of things, it's such a personal sport that um, it becomes, it draws you in. I mean some people could call it addictive. Um, it's definitely something that is, you know, hard to step away from. And, you know, so that's why you see so many old wrestlers involved in some way or another in the sport because it's, you know, it's hard to cold turkey wrestling. So, you know, there's an addictive element to it. Um, and I think it tends to draw that crowd that uh, wants to test their limits because it definitely tests your limits physically, mentally, and spiritually. And I think that it's a, it's a real personal sport in the fact that it's, it's, it's one on one, it's combat, and um, it's, uh, it's something that you can always improve on. It's, it's very humbling and uh, it keeps you grounded. And that you know all these qualities are are very transferable into every aspect of your life. So, just the way I feel like the individual that um, there's a lot of philosophies on wrestling, but I think that the you know for the most part there's a lot of individuals that uh, take wrestling and apply it. You know, apply the the positives to the rest of their life, and that's why you see a lot of successful successful wrestlers in, in life because all those attributes carry over really well. We're just going for the gold medal and because we love it. We love this. We love to wrestle every day. And if you don't love it, 
and you're just trying to do it for just to win money for the gold medal, you're not going to do it. It's going to get too hard. You have to love the sport. See, it's not an easy sport. It's not like, oh, hey, what do you want to do today? Oh, let's go play wrestling. Like, no one says that, you know? Like, oh, let's just go wrestle for two hours. That No one says that because it's not easy. It's a privilege to make enough to live in make enough to run after your goals, you know, run after your dreams, um, and, and that's it.